Okay, so this video is to show you how to register um, your new MyMathLab account if you're an instructor. So what you want to do is up in your search bar, you want to put www.coursecompass.com. And then you go there, and it takes you to their login page. Now, once you're registered as a user and have a username and password and have access to the site, you'll log in here. But for your first time as educators, if you've already contacted your publisher and they've given you an access code, as an educator, you're going to click register. If you don't have that access code and you're out in the world, um, you can contact your publisher and get one or you can request access. When you request access, it's going to take a couple of days to get your clearance. But since we have one from the publisher, um, I'm going to go ahead and click register. And now they take you to their privacy statement. Of course, you should read this, do your due diligence, print it out, and file it like everybody in the world does, or you can click accept. So then now that we've clicked accept, um, no, you don't have one. Yes, you do have one, or you're not sure. So um, for now, for new users, no, you don't have one. So you're going to create a login name. I'm going to choose Math by Fives. That'll work. And then I need to create a password. Okay. Hey, what's over there? Don't look at my password. Great. So now I'm going to enter my access code, the one that was provided to me by my publisher. Don't mind me if I block this out, because this is our password. Now you want this in all caps. Now this password, or this access code, is the one that the students will get in their cardboard um, presentation that they give when they buy their access code. And it's the same um, six nonsensical words. Well, some of them make sense. And then I'm going to click Next, and we'll see if this takes. Ooh. My passwords were invalid. I think that they need to be at least eight characters long and have one letter and one number. Uh, see, I'm showing you some of the things that um, could possibly trip you up. Awesome. And now we click Next. So, you know why? because I was in all caps. This is an instructional and informative video. I did that to um, show you that it is case sensitive. <laughs> okay, sure, it was a mistake. But your password's case sensitive. Must be at least eight characters long. And include a letter and a number. I'm gonna put my first name. My last. my title, my email address, Um, if you're not at my institution and you had questions concerning my videos and other such things you can reach me at that email address that's mathby5s at yahoo.com great now you're going to want to select a, a country I'll do Estados Unidos. And then they're going to need your school's zip code. Don't mind me if I also block this out. And then you select your school from a drop down menu. Oh, there's a lot of schools in this area. And it doesn't go by. Uh huh. We'll find it. Do they not have us in here? It's a top 100 university. We are new to the scene of my math lab, so maybe they don't have us in here. Why don't we put other?
So if your school isn't listed, then um, put it in. Hopefully by the time this video gets published and you're ready to enroll, they'll have our school listed. Looks like everything took and we can log in now. And that concludes our tutorial on how to enroll in my math lab. Thank you.